guys, it's Good for No Nibs here, and today I'm going to be showing you the steps on how to make a catapult. First step, procure supplies. What I have here, eight craft sticks, a binder clip, four zip ties, the top of a milk carton cap, and something to cut the zip ties. Alright, let's get started. Oh wait, another important one. Glue gun. Alright, so first step. You're going to take two popsicle sticks. Grab a zip tie. This is annoying because this is the hard part, but um, we'll see what we can do. Alright. You're going to Firmly around the two. Do this. Make sure it's tight. Otherwise, this will not work. Alright. Next, you're going to take your binder clip, which you'll notice acts like a spring, kind of. You're going to wedge it right in between these two. See, there you go. Have it. Alright, next, if I can get this. You're going to do the same thing. Yeah, actually, before you do that, take a zip tie, put it through this, just so you know it's going to hold. Ugh. Yeah, there you go. Alright. Next, let's move that aside. Two more popsicle sticks. You're going to tie it again. Again, make sure it's tight. You want to... You do not want to have this mess up because this will affect the way it shoots. Once you think it's tight enough, which I think it is, you're going to put it on your other one. Alright. Then you're going to get your last twist tie, number four. Not twist tie. Zip tie, my bad. And you're going to tie it around like this. Make sure it is on there securely. Please, precautions are key. We're taking precautions. Alright, as you can see, look at that. See that? You see how it does? Now we're gonna, you'll need something to cut it with. Now, before, as I interrupted myself, we are going to cut each and every one of these. You'll notice how on the end here, it has a section for a finger, so you can launch it. Alright, let's get those out of the way. Next, we are going to attach this right here. Because this is what's holding our... Mm, our uh, ammo. So let us, it's going to drizzle when you, hey guys, it's Lucas from Lone Loop here, and today we're back for the second part of the catapult video. Alright, let me just, okay, so here's what it looks like so far, it's finally dried. So now, we are going to make the base of our mighty catapult. What we're doing here, take hot glue, half, to make sure it does not string. So you 
wanna. Till it comes off. And then we're gonna take this. Put it so it's directly on. See how it's directly on? That's what you want. Next one. Hot glue takes a while to dry, which is the bad part. Takes like five, ten minutes. To dry completely anyway. See, 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 that's that is what you do not want. So we are just gonna see. See how that's pretty much even. Sorry if you can't hear me. I'm I'm just mm, super concentrated. All right, you get the idea. Now this can't move. So since it's a catapult, it has to have a sturdy base, and it cannot move. So. Questioning whether I should do that or this. Um, you know what? We're going to do the second one. Just because and we're gonna line it up this time so it doesn't look weird. Alright. So here it is. Now we're gonna need ammo. Let me procure that. Here, actually. Sorry. What I like to use as ammo are these eraser tops. Because they can rest right in there and it doesn't normally fall. This is why you let it dry. That is why it is important to let this thing. You know what? Actually, you know what? I never thought of that before. One final step before. We are going to actually. I'm gonna hold this down. And also, since that, I wanna do that. All right. So this, as you can see, is going to take a while to dry, which is why I think I'm going to leave it for a while. Because, hmm, that is just going to take a while. So just one more thing. You do not have to follow these steps. You can be creative. Whatever fits you. I am just telling you that I have found this way to be really 
effective. And and make sure go back over, make sure these are tight. Because if they are not will not work, which is bad. I will be right back. Let me procure something. So this is a really extended video and it's about to end. I just had to get something because we had a list of a list of a little system failure. And boom, there you go. There's your improved catapult. There will be a firing on this thing. Test fire, it is supposed to go over four and a half feet. And that is pretty good. So, talk to you then. Bye. Hey guys, it's Mr. No Nips here, back again with the test fire for our catapult. This is exactly four and a half feet. This is our catapult set up behind the four and a half feet. The requirements are it has to go over four and a half feet without bouncing. So, here we go. Preferred ammo, eraser top. Don't know why. All right, here we go. Look at that. That even would have gone farther. Hit the door. We see that's almost four and a half feet more. There it is.